This is Cheryl Johnson reporting at the home of Buddy Magnano, where it has been reported that Elvis Presley has been seen coming in and out of his home. Do you know anything about these allegations? I deny it. Do you um, have any information for us? Uh, have you seen Elvis? I have seen Elvis, but he was at the truck stop. He was so you actually cited Elvis Presley? I, I deny that. Okay. Have you, have you seen him? Nope. I don't know. Hmm, well, I thought I saw him in there. Leave me alone. Um, you have informed us that you have seen Elvis Presley in Ukiah. Is that right? I have. In fact, I will swear on a stack of Bibles. Uh, I'm not really a pathological liar. You know, I saw him at the bowling alley. He was drinking uh, his fourth beer. So we take you now to the Okeo Bowl where we're going to interview some people and see if Elvis Presley is indeed at the Okeo Bowl. Let me page him. Hang on a minute. All right. Oh, we're going to page Elvis Presley over the microphone. Okay, here we go. Paging Elvis Presley. Elvis, Elvis Presley. So we hope that he'll come up to the front desk if he's here and uh, uh, show himself to us. Now, I don't see him. We thought he came in here. We thought he came in here, but I guess uh, he didn't. It must have been an optical illusion. He probably got tired of being Elvis and really wanted to move on and do something else. And so to save his his grace, he died. I thought I saw him over at the laundromat a couple of times, and you know, I've looked him up in the phone book, and I think he must have changed his name because there's no Elvis Presley in the phone book that I could tell. Um, are you aware of the fact that Clivus Motrum, the world famous Elvis tracker downer, is uh, in the vicinity, and he claims that you have Elvis paraphernalia, and that it's highly illegal, and this sort of thing is contraband? Ashtrays, throw rugs, you name it. If you got it in your home, you are under arrest, citizen's arrest. In fact, you have the duty to place yourself under arrest. Yeah, well, he says one of his goals this year, one of his New Year's resolutions, was to kill all of us. You know, as far as I know, you're perfectly justified in this act. Oh, we feel so. Yeah, we've also been putting out this amount of money, you know. And how much money are you being paid? I can't disclose that, but it's in... Uh, it's in round sums. The, the man is a liar. The man collects rats. I think you should look back here. These things are Buddy Holly. They are not Elvis Presley. So you think you have actually seen him? Yep, I'm pretty sure of it. Well, where at? I think I've seen him down at the, uh, at the uh, uh, library. Uh, by the bus stop there? Yeah, by the bus stop, right, yeah. Have you seen Elvis Presley in the vicinity? No, man, but I think that you got a really nice microphone. Give me that microphone. Hey! The, the king gave me his own guitar. Oh, well, we'd love to see it. Whoa, how about that? We're invited into Winston Smith's house, and we're going to see a guitar that was given to him by Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. That's correct. This is uh, the king's own guitar. He gave this to me the night he was, um, well, the night he disappeared, <coughs> let's say. He said, Winston, my boy, you're um, one of my trusted, only trusted friends. After he gave me a Cadillac, you know, I'm, I double parked it and got towed away. So he gave me this guitar to remember him by. Not only that, but I have the true fuzzy dice. Wow, a a actual Elvis fuzzy dice. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, oh, I'm sorry. I, we're going to have them wrong. I got too excited. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to actually okay. touch them. But I don't uh, talk about it too much because I don't want people to think I'm trying to impress them, you know. Well, that's um, what women do when they get very excited about it. <laughs> I usually wear them around to get dates. And also, there's, uh, I hear there's a rumor that there's zero tolerance on Elvis paraphernalia now. If you have one shred of Elvis stuff in your house, black velvet, a uh, porcelain, an ashtray, a throw rug, a towel, a record, you name it, they'll bust you. Excuse me, hear... don't, don't stay right there, please. Oh, That's, oh I'm this, sorry, I'm this sorry. Is, this is where the king stood. There's an aura. I see the aura. I see the aura. It's it's uh, sort of a goldish, uh, well, whitish... Um... Buddy Mignon is jealous of me because of this. He's jealous of me because of this. He's jealous of me because of this. I bet Buddy is jealous because he has been reputed to have the most numerous Elvis artifacts in Ukiah where Elvis is reputed to live. And, and it's all junk, though. It's all crap. You know, it's, you know, this is the real stuff. What do you think about the rumors that Elvis is actually being holed up at Buddy Mignogna's house? I, I don't know. I haven't seen the king around here at all, actually. <coughs> um, 
Do you, do you know anything about Elvis Presley? I deny that, too. Uh, are you aware of the fact that he has been cited in Ukiah? No. So you claim to have some actual footage of Elvis here in Ukiah? That's right. I've been following him around for quite some time now, and I'd like to share some of my films with you. Here's his limousine. He come out of the house, and uh, uh, people recognized him right away. He seemed to be enjoying himself, and... And then he goes into this other car over here. I think it's a decoy or something. And he gets in and uh, he's still drinking pretty heavy. And then I think somebody, I think it's his manager comes out of the house. And uh, this next piece of footage here, we saw him in the, the Safeway and he was reading magazines. I think about Priscilla or Lisa Marie, something like that. And then... then here down at the bus stop, I got some pictures of him uh, waiting for the bus. Uh, it seemed like he just wanders around aimlessly these days. He, he don't look too happy. Uh, I think people all the time are bothering him still. Well, I just don't know the poor guy. But I got these nice pictures of him. Well, thank you very much for sharing with us. You're welcome. Once the word got out of the sightings, people came in droves to try to catch a glimpse of Elvis. On horseback and on foot, people of all ages wanted to get in on the act. They called the fire department and even the rescue squad. The military was called in to see if they could be of any assistance. And even a band of Indian trackers were engaged for the hunt. Where, where do you think Elvis is now? He could be anywhere. Um, uh, they say that he died, but uh, I think that was a cover-up, like quite, quite a bit of cover-up. Uh -huh. So you, really, you don't think Elvis is really dead? Well, it, it, he could be dead, but uh, I don't think so. I don't think so, really. Okay, I, well, I have to go now. Okay, well, thank you very much, sir. Bye. So, was that really Elvis, or was it just an elaborate hoax for some cheap publicity? It's up to you viewers to decide.